disclaimer. In the current political climate, war between Israel and Palestine, this video could be misconstrued to mean that the Temple Mount doesn't belong to Muslims, but to Israelis. This is not the claim or intention of this video. The intention is to show that Jews, Christians, and Muslims have been lied to. Solomon's Temple is real and still stands today. This image is from a 1486 woodcut of Jerusalem, showing Solomon's temple, the way it was seen over 500 years ago. You might think that this looks exactly like the Dome of the Rock. Indeed, it does. It is the Dome of the Rock. It's all there, unchanged by the sands of time. Staircase, arched entry, even the octagonal shape of building. When you ask a Jew, Muslim, or Christian, where Solomon's temple was, they say, yeah, it was somewhere around here, but they assume it's long gone. Some say it was adjacent to the Dome of the Rock. I've never heard anyone state the Dome of the Rock is Solomon's temple. Academics say the Dome of the Rock was built as an Islamic shrine in the year 691, that's more than 1600 years after Solomon's reign. Is this an error? Is the drawing fraudulent? Not likely. Hundreds of other antique maps, drawn between the 1100s and the 1700s, show the same. Or maybe the Muslims rebuilt it and called it Solomon's Temple before calling it Dome of the Rock. That would explain why many of the old paintings, like this one, there is a crescent moon on top of it. This 1582 map by Braun also calls it Temple of Solomon in the tiny inscription below. On a tourist visit, the Israeli tour guide said the Dome of the Rock was near Solomon's Temple. The temple was destroyed thousands of years ago, she said. She didn't tell that what we are seeing is Solomon's Temple. Muslim sources say that the Dome of the Rock was conceived and built as an Islamic place of worship. Some Protestant Christian sources claim that once Solomon's Temple is rebuilt, the end times start. But it's already there. Orthodox Jewish sources say that the Messiah will come once the temple is rebuilt. But it's already there. Acknowledging that it's been with us all along could cause a lot of controversy. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. This is an 1887 drawing of what Jerusalem was supposed to have looked like in the year 65. If this is anything to go by, the narrative changed by 1887. The large structure on the left is called the Temple. And the Dome of the Rock on the right is called Palace of Kings. Neither look anything like what modern scholars say Solomon's Temple looked like. The peculiar thing is. The Dome of the Rock was several stories higher than it is now. If true, it would mean we're only seeing the uppermost part today, while the rest of the temple is underground. What about the larger structure? Was it destroyed? Is part of it still buried? Or is this drawing imaginary? The existence of two large palaces doesn't sync with other old maps. Most ancient pictures show the dome temple as the biggest and highest building in Jerusalem. The so-called Dome of the Rock is the uppermost part of Solomon's temple. Some digging should easily uncover several stories below it. They cite religious sensitivities as a reason no digging or excavations are taking place. But is that so? Wouldn't Muslims, Christians and Jews alike welcome a discovery that proves Solomon existed? This painting was made in 1871. The full view of the painting shows all of Jerusalem, but no other larger temple. There is one other version of the temple that is not domed, but sits at the same location as the domed version. I have reason to believe this is the older version of the temple, even though it often appears in newer drawings. This is a 1725 map, but I don't know which time it references. A close-up. The following drawing of Solomon's temple is claimed by Wikimedia to be the facade of a European palace. Other websites claim it's a Masonic drawing from 1868. But, even these grand buildings stood on an even more colossal block of stone, impenetrable to attacking armies. I once sat through an entire documentary that showed only this part, omitting the gigantic block below it. 
Some pictures show the colossal stone block, others don't. This could point to different times in which the area was buried through mud floods. This is an early Jerusalem map, drawn in the year 1200 or J200 according to the Phantom Time theory. In the upper right, we see the dome of the rock with a smaller domed structure in front of it, not much different from today. The smaller domed structure is the Al-Aqsa Mosque or Masjid Al-Aqsa, which is another sacred Muslim site. Both are still there today. The aerial view solves the mystery. The structure in its entirety is Solomon's Temple. You are looking at the roof. The Jews say the Wailing Wall is part of the temple. They are right. But the Dome of the Rock is also part of it. Its centerpiece. And the Masjid Al-Aqsa is the former entrance of the temple. It's obvious if you put the aerial view beside the ancient maps. And yes, there is a massive structure below this complex. We are told that the temple was destroyed, then rebuilt. But this was supposed to have happened in times so ancient we can find no evidence for it today. It is my conjecture that the domed paintings show the rebuilt temple, and the non-domed ones show the original one. This video is just an introduction to something I find really fascinating. If you find it interesting, I'll continue in part 2. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.